On the show today, we're cruising along with the world's fastest amphibious vehicle, one eye-catching way of taking to the waves. Plus, we'll talk with Sir Richard Branson as he unveils Spaceship Two, his new rocket plane that will take passengers into space. But first, is there someone on your holiday shopping list who has it all? Well, we're pretty sure they're not gonna have one of these because it's an amphibious car. You want one just like the one we found in Long Beach, California, that's built to be fun and fast. Southern California, where it's always summer and it's always a great day for a drive. On the road or on the water? There's a chance to ride in the fastest amphibious vehicle in the world. We'll take it up now, we'll take it up probably uh, around 48, 50 mile an hour. This is the water car. Here we go, we're up on a plane clocked at more than 90 kilometers an hour. Whoa! a little rough there. The road from conception to development was rough as well. A lot of it's been by trial and error. We've, we've built a number of vehicles and you learn lessons each time you build one and uh, you know it gets better each time. The secret to the water car speed is below the water line. You have to get the drag out of the hull and the tires and wheels represent tremendous drag. So you have to be able to elevate the tires and wheels. In other words, get them out so that in water mode, the water sees this as a boat, not as a car. Amphibious cars have been around for decades, starting with the military in the 40s. They were heavy and slow. Others have been one-offs, high-priced, custom-built toys. There have even been submersible cars. But water car is not only the fastest, it's the only one currently ready for full production. Come on, catch it. You can drive away in one for just $200,000. That's it, guys. The water car was born here, in the back of California's largest auto body shop. This is kind of where it all began. This is an amphigator. It was built in the middle 60s. The guys at Water Car went through dozens of prototypes, including one that looked like a Jeep. We got to a vehicle that did 52 miles an hour, on a 14-foot boat. And again, when you're in water mode, you have to think of this as a boat. And if you think of a 14-foot boat going 52 miles an hour, it's frightening. To improve the stability, they turned to a pickup truck. We needed a long body. This is 20 feet long. As a Chrysler production pickup truck, that's roughly the dimensions of that vehicle. But to put some interest into it, we put a Corvette rear end on it. The larger body also lets you bring along some friends. You can even go for a dip once you reach open water. You know, if I close the door, it looks like a normal door. But sometimes things aren't what they appear to be, and you open it, and by just adding, you know, this riser in here, it gives us significantly more freeboard. You look at the lines and you look at the side of this vehicle, it would not be easy to get into if you were a swimmer coming back aboard or a water skier or whatever. So by opening the door, you literally swim up to it. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go get wet. Ready to go? We're going. It's easy to drive, but the rules of the road still apply. So okay. let's, uh, so for let's get down this, around here on the, a straightaway. Our patrol is out here now, so you have to go around the buoys or they will. Oh, do I? Yeah, yeah, that's why they pull you over. Still, on a sunny day in California. Clear to turn. Skipping across the waves in a water car. We're having a great time. Nothing can stop the fun. <laughs> 